Good day, subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am Levi. This is the Cybersecurity Education Channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Today, we're going to be talking about Game of Thrones illegal streams. Oh my gosh, who would do that, right? Um, so, let's go ahead and get into this. So we're going to be talking about the stats about Game of Thrones illegal streams and we're going to be talking about the risk of doing the illegal streaming and why you shouldn't do it, right? Um, um, just an FYI before we get into this, I personally have never watched Game of Thrones. If you leave 10 comments down below of why I should watch it, I will go ahead and watch an episode of Game of Thrones. In my next video, I will do a, do a review on what I thought of Game of Thrones. And this has to be done um, within three days of posting this video. So. Let's go ahead and get started. So, Muso Analytics has some statistics about these illegal, illegal views of Game of Thrones. Um, basically, 55 million people pirated Game of Thrones within the first 24 hours of the first release of the first episode. 76.6% um, of them were streams. So, you know, kind of like a YouTube type deal where they would go to a, a, a website and they would just stream it like kind of like on YouTube. 12.2% um, were downloads, so they would just find like a they find a website where they could just click the link and boom, it downloads it down to their system. And then 11% were torrents, where you have to have like this torrent client. You go find a seed, basically, is what it called. You click on the seed, and then that basically takes it from multiple people's computers that have that torrent, and then it it puts it all into your computer. So those are kind of the statistics on it. Um, by country, India had 10 million people, um, China had 5 million people, and then the U.S. had 4 million people. So, um, as you can see, there's quite a few people that download this content, that access this content illegally within the first 24 hours, right? Um, 51 million people overall. Um, to put that in perspective, the U.S. population right now has about 327 million. So, out of all these viewers that watched it, about 15% of people, if they were all in the U.S., would have would have illegally downloaded Game of Thrones. I mean, that's a pretty big number, right? So now I get to be the Debbie Downer, and we'll talk about the risk on why you shouldn't do this. Um, so the first, the number, the first, the number one risk is malware, and specifically ransomware. Um, I've talked about this before, and 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 I'll, I'll post a card up here so you can go look and see what ransomware is and what you can do to protect yourself. But obviously, you know, ransomware goes and it encrypts all your files on your system so that you can't access them and you got to pay a ransom to get your files back or you got to restore from backups or just totally redo your system and all your stuff's lost, right? So obviously, ransomware is a huge one. Who really wants to have all their stuff unaccessible, unaccessible and, and having to pay a ransom that's probably way more than the $15 that you would pay for HBO now to subscribe, right? So that's a big one. Um, malware that wipes out the system. It's kind of a similar thing like ransomware, except you don't have the option to pay the ransom. Your system's just hosed and you got to redo it, right? Or restore from backups. Um, which brings me to my point here. Always have three different backups. I've talked about this in several different videos. Um, you want to have a cloud backup, you want to have a backup that's offline, not connected to your system, and you want to have a backup in another location of your choice. Um, watch, my, watch my ransomware video if you want to learn more about that. Um, number two, backdoor into your system. Um, so basically you go and you go and you you stream the file you download it what what whatnot and you might have to open an executable to view that file or something or that file is just it corrupted itself and it runs something in the background that allows re remote attackers to be able to see everything on your system and they can see all the passwords that you type in they could take all your files that you have of sensitive information and anything and transfer that over to themselves and use that information to create new financial accounts uh, break in your current stuff and then they can also take that information that you have so like if you had naughty pictures or videos and stuff like that they can use that as extortion where it make you pay a ransom um, to them in order for them not to send that out to people over the internet and embarrass you, right? Or ruin your career or whatnot. So backdoor is number two. Um, and then we have the issue with copyright infringement. Um, HBO's copyright company, I'm sure, probably releases fake ones out online so that they can get a gauge of who's stealing the data. They get that information and they could come after you at any point in time. 
and um, take you to court over it. I mean, the risks aren't very high, but is it really worth the risk? You know, and then there's also, and then the last one, there's the moral dilemma here. Is it really the right thing to go steal content that everybody loves? And um, the producers and everybody in the company worked hard on. I mean, how would you feel if you created um, a product that millions of people loved and millions of people were going and stealing it? So there's that moral dilemma there. Um, so kind of my main point on this, to me, it's really not worth the risk to illegally stream this. I mean, is it really worth getting malware? Is it really worth having a copyright company go, come after you and go into court over this? Um, when you can get HBO Now for $15 a month, at least in the United States, um, to me, that, that $15 is nothing. Like, just go and pay the 15 bucks. In the past, you've gotten a free trial. I'm sure it's the same thing. Um, so just go ahead and pay that 15 bucks. And if $15 is too much for you, maybe you shouldn't be watching Game of Thrones right now. Maybe you should be going and getting a job, raising your income to be able to afford that $15. It's not worth wiping out all your stuff. It's not worth extortion or anything like that, right? So um, I guess for the people in India and China, I don't know how much access you have to HBO now. Maybe it looks, makes a little bit more sense for you guys to go and steal it. But if you guys have an option, um, I would highly advise going with the official HBO option if you have it. Um, the other thing is too, you could use like a VPN to get back in the United States or another country and be able to access HBO now from there. So that's my spiel on why you shouldn't illegally stream ransomware or download it. Um, you should just go ahead and pay for the content since it's not that much. Remember the next three days after I post this video, if I get 10 comments down below, my next video, I will go ahead and watch Game of Thrones and I will review it and tell you what I, got, what I thought about it. So don't forget to comment down below. You want a new Game of Thrones fan, right? Um, if you're new to this channel, I talk cybersecurity tips and tricks, and, and I give cybersecurity lessons. I talk about cybersecurity news like this, um, and then I also do a I also do a series where I'll do cybersecurity labs, and I'll show you what can happen if um, you're not doing something according to cybersecurity standards. In the IT industry for the last 11 years, I have my CompTIA Security Plus certificate, and I have a computer science background, so you're in good hands on learning the cybersecurity information. I hope you guys really enjoyed this content. Click the subscribe button and click the like video if you like this content. Thank you for watching guys and have a great day.